Has anyone checked Magnus's cabin? No. I wanted to. But you didn't or can't? Soren won't let anyone up there. His cabin might give me a lead on his location. Can you help me find a way in? No, this town takes care of its own. Our problems are ours, no one else's. So you and Soren work together? Yes, we both run the festival. But people are not happy. They dislike him. I'm definitely sensing some of that. Why? Not one of us. He doesn't know our stories. No shared memories. He mentioned that you've been kind to him. Hmm. Being his friend has a price here. You are either outside or inside in Skiprot. You cannot stand in the doorway. You will be driven out. We are not like Reykjavik, like a big city. Sounds like people are trying to get rid of him. Ruining the festival would be a great way to do that, wouldn't it? Your words, not mine. Regardless, he is welcome in my home and at my pub. I cannot always go against the town, but I can offer a warm meal and a listening ear. I'm really sorry to hear about your and Magnus' breakup. It hardly matters anymore. I don't want to pry, but if you want to talk about it, I'm here. Here's one for your case file. I've known Magnus all my life. We dated four years. The winters are long and dark. We found each other in that darkness. But then... He went through hard times. He became obsessed over the ship. His world narrowed. And soon, there was no room left for me. That's the end of it. Where were you the day of the Herlikade's crash? Herlikide. Like, Herlikide? <laughs> Close enough. I was in town. Dagny says you weren't there. I'm checking alibis. She... Oh... I fell ill when the festival began. The flu is going around. I'm sorry you were sick. Sounds like a rough time to be ill. Am I suddenly immune to illness just because it was a festival day? I heard something about your family line in connection to the ship. Do you feel you have a claim to it? It's true. The ship is mine, and everything on it. My great-great-great-great-grandfather was the original captain. So what did you think of the restoration project, then? She is a beautiful ship, truly. But her history is stained with blood. Even though the treasure is rightfully mine, this fairy tale chasing business seems... wrong. I thought the restoration would unite the town. But all it's done is drive us further apart. So, technically, if the treasure were to be found, it would belong to you. Family. People. That's what matters. The rest is useless noise. Is there anything more you haven't told me about, Magnus? No. Guess you'll have to leave now. Elizabeth, I'm trying my hardest to find Magnus, but I have to admit I can't do it without you. I need your help, Elizabeth. I need to know what you know. <laughs> he is quiet, thoughtful, keenly obsessive. First over his dog, then over his writing, then over me, then over the ship. Why would someone like him be hunting for gold in the first place? He has certain intentions with the treasure. Which were? A boat of his own. He desperately wants to leave town. Leave Eastland. I thought he was a captain already. Oh, he is. But for wealthy people. 
private clients, never his own boat, never his own destination. He dreams of living like the old captains, sailing wherever the wind takes him. I see. So the treasure would allow him to fulfill that dream. Here, have this. Magnus left it at my place. After we broke up, he called me looking for it. But I hid it. It looks like it might be the key to open some kind of box. But I've never seen any box like that before. I don't know why I kept it for myself. Maybe I wanted to see whatever it was he saw in this hunk of driftwood. Thanks, Elizabeth. I'm going to get to the bottom of this mess. I heard the story about your family. I grew up with so much anger. I couldn't believe people would do that to one another. People do strange things when money's on the line. I think they could bury the hatchet and move on. <laughs> I guess not. Nothing is ever buried here. Just sleeping. And sometimes it awakens in unexpected ways. So, what's behind the mystery door? Just an old broom closet. Can I see? No. Ah, not even a hint? Go away. Can I help? Can you tell me about the festival sound system? It's been broken for a week. Soren told me he was manning the sound system on the morning the Heerlich Hyde crashed. What? But that's not possible. There was no sound that day. Sounds like we've got an alibi that doesn't quite match up. Did Gunnar do anything unusual leading up to the festival? Well, if you include the two festivals before this one, certainly. He ruined them single-handedly. Aside from that, only the usual threats. Gunnar swore he'd tie Magnus up and send him out to sea. Gunnar hates Magnus. You spend a lot of time here. Don't you have somewhere else to be? No, I'm still on festival duty. In case of a ship emergency, I'm responsible. This vessel is an antique. Things break suddenly, and it's hard to hear the alarm from the harbor. I see. Interesting. I'll let you go. Bye now. The motor's busted. Can't take it anywhere like this. I'll need to find something to help translate these first. I can't afford that. Hey, girl! I actually do have a name, you know. It's Nancy. Get your little lady bones into the prep area and get some Turmutter orders ready. 
It's all hands on deck for the lunch rush at the Misty Skip. I'm a sleuth, not a chef. Are you sure you want me back there handling the sharp stuff? You're eating and lodging here for free, just like me. So it's only fair to get some good work out of you. Well, might as well take a stab at it. Okay, time to get to work. Good day. Soren told me about your boat crash. He will pay for the wagon tongue. Who told me isn't important. Oh, my little sister, but it is. Soren is not one of us. He is an outsider, born ten miles away, a stranger. Ten miles away, and he's a stranger forever. Well, that seems unfair to Soren. Unfair means nothing. You think because a culture is unfair, it will change for you? That is not the world. That is not Skiprot. How do you know Elizabeth? I've known her since she was a negative pre-glimmer in her puppy's eye. Always had the local boys terrified that one. She knows what she wants and heads for it straight as an arrow. Young men, <laughs> not so good with a woman like that. I can see how she might be intimidating, but her heart's in the right place. Aye, but right now she wants revenge on Magnus, angrier than a bull seal on a full moon. Still, she lets me sleep and eat here, so that's worth something. Did you know about her and Magnus? <laughs> We all did, my Fiskur. From the sound of things, it didn't end very well, unfortunately. Magnus is good with waves, bad with women. No skills to speak of. He is, um, how do you say it? A, a runner. He runs. Ouch! I'm glad he's not here to hear that. I was bitten by a shark once. Now I can only speak the truth. Oh, I didn't know that was a side effect of shark bites. It is a curse I bear with pride. Have you met Dagny? Who? She's the woman involved with the Hirlik High's restoration. Brown hair, about yay high. Ah, a tough little mink of a woman. Not bad in my book. Did you see her the day of the ship crash? Yeah, she was there, but I paid no attention to the mink. Elizabeth said you threatened Magnus pretty directly. I did. It was. How do you call it? Friendship. That's friendship to you. I threaten everyone. It still seems a little strange. Spoken by a woman with no friends. My friends are back in the U.S. What? They don't like Eastland? Don't like cold? What? I think they're in school right now. <laughs> school. <sighs> okay, Gunner. You spend a lot of time in the pub, don't you? Why? What kind of a question is that? Am I a lonely little man sitting in the pub, crying over a tiny plate of pretty biscuits, thinking about all the women I've ever lost, and writing it all down in some wimpy little notebook? No. Then I would be Magnus. Me. I am a mountain wolf. I roam the wilds, and I keep my own company. I. I'm a predator. 
ale i girl. Oh. Can I help? Did you lock Magnus's cabin? Yes. No one should be going in there until the authorities search everything. Why not call the police? Believe me, I want to. But I live life one step away from an angry mob on my doorstep. Why do you think I stay in the culture center? I don't mind getting in trouble. What if I help you? I'll call them up myself. Nancy, please. If you were to do that, you'd be tarred and feathered faster than you can say, Hey, a fietla, Yoku. In these parts, vigilante efforts are very much the norm. Even if the police were to come in, no one would talk. I hate to admit it, but it's up to the two of us to crack this case. I'll let you go. Well, on with it. The motor's intact, but I'll need to replace the spark plugs and cables.
It's working. Don't know whose boat this is, but I'll just borrow it for a little while. Locked. Can't fix anything until I get inside. Well, I made it to the top. Better give Alex a call. 